Hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q coach, Tim Legend. And I'm super excited having you guys here today on this one. In case if this is your first time on my channel, could you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on also so that you do not miss out a thing. I want you to be the first person to get notified the moment that I release another video. So hit the subscribe button now and turn the notification bell on good all right so i want to use this opportunity to appreciate all my wonderful traders who attended the boom and crash intensive training that took place on saturday and sunday and all your uh words of appreciation towards the training it was an indeed an eye-opening one for a lot of you and uh, at the same time i want to also inform you in case if you weren't able to make it to the training you can come straight to my dm and grab the recorded sections okay so instead of 20 dollars i'm gonna charge you just 17 dollars and that's a promo price that you do not want to uh miss out okay so make sure you come and grab it as soon as possible because it's just for a limited amount of time okay so in that uh training you're gonna learn price action technical analysis you're gonna learn how to create boom and crash strategies and you're gonna learn how to take sniper entries in the boom and crash markets and finally you're going to gain access to my boom and crash traders community where all the boom and crash students that i've taught about a hundred of, uh, plus of them you're going to gain access to that group and how get to mingle with your fellow traders you guys drop analysis together drop views together take trades together you just want to make sure you don't miss out okay so let's get straight into the strategy for today now i will be changing uh, my strategy soon okay so this is going to be the last video on this strategy if you get to observe my previous videos has always been on this single strategy and the main reason why i've been doing that is because i want traders to learn how to use a certain strategy to win okay not all the time you keep changing one strategy to the other from one to the other if you keep uh trade uh, changing your strategies every single day you cannot become profitable in the boom and crash market and that's one thing that you need to understand okay you would not be able to become profitable in the boom and crash market if you're the kind of a trader not just the boom and crash market in the forex market if you're the kind of a trader who changes one strategy to the other every single day so that was that's the reason why i have been giving you guys just this strategy giving you different ways to use it to trade okay so you get to learn how to use one particular strategy to win so the main reason why i'm going to change my strategy on my next video is because i've given a lot of videos on this strategy so anybody using it and winning should keep using it to win and if you feel that it's not uh if you feel that you you're, you're still not getting good entries with it then you can check out the next strategy that i'll be releasing soon okay so you don't want to miss out a thing from my channel so make sure you hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on and please don't forget to like because it helps us grow every single day so we keep winning all right so i just want to show you guys that if with this strategy you can still trade this boom and crash market even even on the 15 minute time frame okay i've showed you guys how to use it on your one minute time frame on your five minutes and now also on your 15 minute time frame okay so what you want to do is like i always tell you guys you want to first of all check what is the trend okay check what is the trend so we have seen clearly that the trend is actually an uptrend then where is price currently all right that's the next thing you want to ask yourself where is price currently so we want to catch spikes right so if you want to catch spikes you only want to take trades from areas of reaction which is according to the indicator window two you use it to find out areas of reactions these are your areas of reactions okay 
these are your areas of reaction there's 30 50 70 or here as oversold while here as overbought okay so so now that we have the uh for our time frame to be an uptrending market all right bringing out our trend line bringing out our trend line we get to see that this pro this uh uptrend has just been broken structure has just been broken in the uptrending market now that we can see that structure has just been broken in the four hour charts okay so the next thing we want to do is to is to understand where price is going to i hope that you guys have watched the video that i made for you guys on how on concerning who is in power and price foundation so right now we get to understand that there was a previous foundation which is here okay so this is likely where price is heading to now that it has broken out of the zone okay now the price has broken out of this zone this is likely the foundation is heading to so between here where price is currently to here is quite uh some a few pips to grab since it's a four hour chart so that's why we have to go to our lower time frames to determine where we can take entries from okay so to determine where to take entries from now with your 15 minute time frame you can always look out for areas of reaction whenever price gets to it okay so sometimes the 15 minute time frame might be too long for you so you can then decide to go to maybe a five minute time frame all right like you can see price is already close to the area of reaction in the five minute time frame so at this junction you want to keep on uh be observing price and its movements remember this is an area of resistance so we, we likely want to wait to see if we can see price get close to any of the zone here all right and then we will begin to look for our selling opportunities or if and if our price ends up getting here then that simply me means that this price would likely have to get to the zone this is another area of reaction 90 okay so you just want to be on the lookout so areas where you want to be taking your entries for spike is whenever price is close to this line this line this line or this line of so reactions then also don't forget that you have your moving averages here helping you to serve as support and resistance now working with two confluences if price gets here it simply means that this price would have to get close to this other moving average that is still above or get to your trend line that you have brought it brought out here so in that way you have more confluences to sell all right so you want to make sure you're working with all these confluences because i always tell my students that your confluence is your confidence to take a trade okay so when you have at least two to three confidence and uh, confluences come on take the trade confidently if you catch the move good if you, if you don't catch it there's no problem good entries will still come at the end of the day all right all you just need is nothing else but patience okay so since this is going to be the last video of this strategy in case if this is your first time watching this video you want let me i want to give you this sentence the first moving average is one one zero shift to be zero period simple apply to close all right your second moving average is 50 zero exponential close yellow in color the third moving average is 20 zero exponential open green in color and the fourth moving average is 220 zero exponential open and blue in color now on your relative strength index you have period to be 11 weighted close hlcc slash 4 under your levels you have 96 97 96 97 98 12 13 14 15 50 70 30 and 90 then your style should be blue in color or whatever color you desire but make sure it's a color you can see in your background then your macd is 12 
as the EMA, the slow EMA should be 26 and your MACD SMAA should be 9. Apply to close. Main should be the color of your background. You don't want to see it on the background and your signal, whatever color you desire. Okay, so. All right. So your uh, so at your moving averages are here to serve as support and resistance. Okay, they're serving as support and resistance. So you want to always take note of that. And the same thing, your MACD is acting as support and resistance for the relative strength index blue line. Okay, so you also want to take note of that. So price is busy reacting okay is reacting currently is reacting currently is reacting currently with massive spikes with massive spikes so currently this price is at my support level here so we want to wait for a breakout all right so you always want to ch check different time frames between your one minute to your 15 minutes time frame checking out where price is currently for as an area of reaction okay so i hope you guys love the strategy and don't forget to like if if you find this uh, content valuable and don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn the notification bell on also so that you'll be the first to get notified on my next video for the meantime stay safe and keep winning